Hi everybody, this is Nana Daokwansi Chiema here and this is a vlog on my writing process. A couple of weeks ago, Kaiser Halsbeck Adu, please google her and check out her blog, wrote a post about her writing process and tagged me and a couple of other writers to also share about their writing process. One of the people she tagged was Fiona Leonard, author of The Chicken Thief who also tagged my friend Kobna Graham. And Kobna responded to the challenge today on his blog, which is one of my absolute favorites. You should check it out. And I was just like, oh my God, Kobna has responded and I haven't even responded to my challenge, which is why even though I am currently suffering doom so, which means lights off, and which means <laughs> I just realized I have to explain each time if you're not Ghanaian, which means basically, you know, our electricity corporation has cut off our light, turned off our lights. It's a load shedding exercise. So this is why, even though I'm ex currently experiencing doom so, I decided to create a video blog because my darling friend Kobe Graham is the king of procrastination. And even if he can get together and write about his um, writing process and i reckon i also need to do the same so kaiser thank you for tagging me and let me proceed to answer the questions so my writing process <sighs> i wish i had a process you know i dream of sitting in front of a beach every day and writing for a couple of hours in the morning that would be my ideal writing process and in reality that really happens um at the same time, I'm quite regular in the sense that I write often. Um, part of what really helps me do that is that writing is part of my job, so I have to write for my job. But the other thing is I also write for websites, magazines, and that helps me write regularly. So for example, currently, I write for This Is Africa, a website. I've committed to writing a monthly article for them. And when I don't write for a while, one of the editors will send me a note and say, Hey, Nana, what's going on? So that kind of prompts me to write. And at the same time, I feel I did not write enough because what I really want to work on and prioritize is my collection of short stories. So, um, my writing process is currently haphazard all over the place. I write regularly, but not as often as I would like, and I don't always write enough on the subjects I actually want to write on. Um, at the moment, I write wherever I find space. Sometimes I write on flights. Some of my best posts have been on flights because I actually have a fear of flying. I'm working on it. I'm almost there. And writing is one of the few things I can do that will take me a bit out of myself so that I don't have to be very conscious of the fact that I am in a metal plane, you know, like literally a flying device. 30, 35,000, 40,000 feet <laughs> above the ground, <laughs> which I did not know how to fly myself, but I am getting distracted, which is a disadvantage of a vlog. You're not as concentrated as when you're, when you are, um, by 10. So what am I working on? A number of things in terms of my, hmm, shall I call it? Yeah. Creative nonfiction <laughs> and fiction. I'm currently working on two short stories. I started working on a collection which is about generally, you know, um, African women and sexuality. And yeah, that's a collection of short stories. I probably have about six stories completed that I'm happy with. So I have a long way to go because my pieces tend to be quite short. So I feel like I need like 30 for there to be a decent collection. But on my last writing date, which I guess is part of my writing process, I'll talk about my writing dates later, I started another short story, um, which won't fit into that collection, but which is for a collection I've been thinking of for a while. And that collection is going to be about everybody I've ever had sex with. So if I have ever had sex with you, you shall be appearing in a short story collection of mine one day, but don't worry, I shall protect your identity. And how does my work differ from others of a genre? What's my genre? I don't really consider erotica to be my genre, even though I guess that's a genre that people might place me into. I don't think I have a genre per se. Um, a lot of my writing has been hand fiction. I'm interested in exploring more fiction. Um, 
Yeah, I don't feel like I have a genre per se. I'm interested in a lot of writing. I'm also interested in one day publishing a book of essays, which are my thoughts on generally every subject under the sun, but with a particular focus on African feminism. Why do I write what I do? Um, I write what I do because I find it interesting. I write about things that move me, that touch me, that inspire me. Um, sometimes I write about things that I don't know I'm going to write about. Like the one time I wrote about a alleged thief being lynched to death because I literally had, you know, people in the area calling out thief, 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 and I knew that one of the potential outcomes was that he was going to be lynched to death. And I wanted to do something about it, but it was like 2 to 3 a.m. in the morning. And at the time I lived alone in a little, I call it my girl's quarters at the time. So I couldn't go out and in the morning, yeah, the guy was dead in the gutter. So I wrote about that because that was something that really bothered me. So I write about anything under the subject, but most people know me for the writing I do on sex and sexuality. I also write about feminism. Um, I love to write about other things I haven't written about so often recently, leadership. I used to be a leadership trainer in my previous years. Um, I want to write more on technology, on the intersections between gender and technology, because I find that interesting. I'll be doing a lot more of that. Yeah, writing process. Okay, so I kind of talked about that. But the other thing I want to mention that really helps me with my writing now is having writing dates. Um, one of the first people I had a writing date with was Fami and Kansa, and it's really fun because we meet up, we spend like the first couple of, like an hour, <laughs> chatting, having drinks, whatever, and then... Afterwards, we set ourselves time to write, so we might say, okay, let's write for half an hour. Then we will read what we've written to each other, give feedback, then write some more. That really works. Um, currently, Fami is away, not in my physical space. So Fami, I'm cheating on you now with Nana Ophoriata, whom I'm enjoying writing with as well. Um, so that's really worked for me. So that's kind of like my writing process. And what else am I supposed to talk about? Who do I want to pass my writing process on? Aha! So... The people I'm tagging, Amina Doherty on Twitter at She Rocks Locks, Jessica Horn at Twitter at Still She Rises, Mina Salami at Miss Afropolitan. Yes, and I'm passing the torch on to you. I want to know what your writing process is. And one of the questions Kaiser asked in her post was she wants to know how to write a book. So you know she wants tips. Kaiser, unfortunately, <laughs> I don't have tips on that. I've I've written books. Um, well, I call them books. Yeah, I have written books. I wrote a book. Did I write? <sighs> yeah, I wrote a book called Women Leaders in Africa. It was more of a compilation of interviews I'd done with women leaders. Um, I've also produced a coffee table book. Both were published by the African Women's Development Fund. So that's what I had to do for work. So in a way, I was able to create more space during the day for it. And literally, because it was work, I had a deadline. So I had to do it. Um, in the same process, I'm working on a book now for AWDF, which will be also Women Lead in Africa, but an edition focused on African women philanthropists. And that book is going to be launched in November, so whether I like it or not, the book has to be finished by then. So I guess in terms of the books I've actually been able to complete, it's because they were work-related and there was a deadline. And I guess maybe that's part of the challenge of finishing my collection of short stories. I literally cannot afford my own time. I cannot afford to hire myself, so I am completely free to work on that. And I'm completely envious of some of my friends, like the writer Yawande Omotoso, author of Bomboy, who a number of years ago, maybe two years, I remember in 2012, she left her secure, well-paid architectural job to, you know, focus on her writing. And I think it's been really great for her career. So actually, I'm going to add a fourth person, Yawande Omotoso. Yawande, I'm tagging you. Um, on Twitter, she goes by the same name. So thanks, everybody. I hope this vlog is useful. Apologies about the darkness. It's not my fault. It's doom so no light. Um, yeah, and I'm in my bed, ready for my bed. No adventures tonight. Good night or good morning or good afternoon, wherever you are. Ciao.